Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons. And in this video, I think it's going to be one video, might be a couple, but uh, in this video or video set, I'm going to show you how to wrangle <laughs> or manhandle uh, a uh, estimate for some utility services uh, that a client has requested on one of my projects. And uh, it's a little bit complicated. Uh, there's some work that's already been done, and then there's some work that they're asking for that should have been done, and then there's some extra work that they're asking for that we need to get paid for, and we want to make sure that we communicate clearly back to the client what they're going to get, and, and that we understand what they're asking for. It's not always clear what they're asking for, and so uh, I thought this would be a good video to do. Um, it'll help my team understand a little bit more about uh, utility services and how we how we estimate uh, utility mapping services, but it's also just a good example of kind of a key way we bring value to clients is by, you know, taking their napkin sketch, essentially what's a napkin sketch, and turning that into an actual scope of services and a fee, and helping the client to understand, uh, you know, what's practical, what's not practical, where they might benefit from taking a big, a different approach than the, the approach they think they may want to take, uh, giving them some options. Um, so that's a that's a huge part of how a good land surveyor brings value on a real estate project. And so I thought this would be an opportunity to hopefully uh, demonstrate that. Of course, by the time we're done with the video, you just may be thoroughly confused. Uh, but we're going to give it a shot. So this is on my Orion Park project. Uh, if you watch my videos on YouTube, you'll be familiar with this. And so I'm going to go ahead and open the file that I got from the client. Uh, so I basically got a... Uh, an email from the client, his name's Todd, and Todd said, Landon, I'd like you to do some more utility mapping out at Orion Park and see the attached exhibit. And so this is the exhibit I got. So what he did is he went in here and he marked up some GIS information that we were given by NASA. This property is actually currently owned by NASA. Excuse me, a little sniffle there. So I'm going to download that, and uh, we're going to look at what the client gave us. And so our goal is to basically do... To, to take this sketch, essentially, this markup, PDF markup, and do three things. We need to turn that into a scope of services at some point. We need to get the client a fee estimate. That's what they're asking for. They're asking for a cost fee estimate, but we want to we want to match that with a scope, even if it's an informal scope. Um, one of the things I try and beat into my surveyors is you can't give people prices for professional services without a scope. Even if it's an informal scope, even if it's just a scope in an email, it's just because they got to know what they're paying for. It's not like buying a box of Cheerios. So uh, we need to do those three things. We need to come up with some kind of scope, even if it's informal. We need to come up with a cost estimate for that scope, and then we need to make the client some recommendations. So we may we may have a scope that includes some alternative tasks. Some you know there might be some required tasks, some optional tasks, some alternative tasks and in this particular case uh, we may have already done some of this work or we haven't done the work but we owe the client the data as part of our original contract and I'm not going to double charge Todd for that if if it's something that we should have reasonably picked up the first time through um, that we're not going to we're not going to charge him for that we're telling we're going to tell him that we're just going to go do it and uh, I'll either go try and find that data uh, if we if we did our job right or if we didn't we'll get back out to the field and get it Okay, so let's look at this PDF real quick. All right, so here's this PDF. <clears throat> and what I did is I actually, uh, I went in and numbered these uh, little callouts that the client gave me so that we could keep track of them. And I'll, I'll send this copy back to the client with my number so he, he knows what we're talking about. <clears throat> So let's see if we can uh, rotate this. <clears throat> so here's the project site. So there's uh, six sheets that he marked up. And you got to be careful because some of these markups are apply to us and some don't. So we're looking for these markups here. Uh, that's you just you have to figure that out. So you got to read through these. So this, these yellow call outs are the ones that we want. OK, and down here it just tells you this is the electrical sheet. And so what they want to know, he's got this little blue clouded area here. 
And he says there are three vaults located in this clouded area. Would PV, that's the client, be able to tap into these vaults for power? Do these vaults contain the extra conduit for a new 12 kilovolt line from the substation to the north? <clears throat> okay, so we're going to look at that in a minute. So we've got one thing there on the electrical to do. That's T1. T2, in this blue clouded area here, they want to know what gas utilities are in this uh, footprint. So this is, uh, that was gas, this is storm. So we've got T4 and T3. They want us to confirm uh, what pipe, uh, so just some information about these pipes and where they connect. Uh, in, that's the pipes in this blue clouded area here. Okay, this is the sewer. So they want us to um, look at these lines here. I think there's two lines they want us to look at. And uh, they want us to... Looks like they want us to just confirm, confirm some invert elevations and one of these they want us to, to do a, a video inspection. This is water. They want us to locate a water line here along this wall. Uh, they want us to survey all structures pertaining to water in this uh, blue footprint. And let's see, they got another... See, that's the sound wall. So they want us to locate that there's a line that runs along the sound wall, which is here. And then it looks like they just want us to survey these other uh, structures. Okay, and some of this is some of this may end up being outside of my limits. We're gonna have to look at that a little bit closer. All right, and then let's see, we got one more here. This must be calm. Yeah, communications. Uh, they want us to locate a Verizon line, another communication line. Uh, right in here. I'm guessing. It's not super clear, but... Uh, so we need to take a look at this line that's coming across here. Okay. So nine task total is what it looks like. All right, so I've only got a couple more minutes, and then I want to end this video. So let's go ahead and <clears throat> I was debating about the right way to, to organize this. We're not even working on a scope or a fee yet. I'm just trying to wrap my hands around what the client wants and what they what they want. So three questions we want to try and figure out. Let's just type them because it's easier for you guys to see on the video. So here's what we're trying to do. This is how we add value. <laughs> So question number one, what does the, uh, let's say, what is the client trying to accomplish? So this is the big picture, okay? Question two, what specific tasks did they ask us to execute? Okay. Three. What do they really need us to do so they can accomplish their goal? And you would think two and three are, all, are the same thing, but they're not always the same thing. So sometimes they are different. Uh, what we really need to do for the client may not be what they think we need to do. And then uh, I'm going to just throw a fourth one in here. Is there... A better approach to accomplish the client's goal and I'm gonna say is that either from a cost schedule or risk perspective so we want to evaluate all three of those things I notice I got the wrong kind of there sorry so these are the four things we want to 
uh, these four very important questions we want to ask when the client's asking us to, to do uh, any any type of work could be the original the original work for the for the project or in this case we're doing additional work okay so this is what we want to remember so I'm just going to slide this over to my other screen so I already know the answer to number one uh, they're trying to redevelop the site and put office buildings on it. So that's what they're trying to accomplish. What we're trying to answer right now is question number two. What specific tasks have they asked us to execute? That's what we're trying to get our hands around. Then once we get once we <laughs> wrap our hands around that, then we'll worry about three and four. Okay. So let's just get this spreadsheet set up. I'm already over 10 minutes, so I want to end this video. So uh, I'm going to call this task ID. Okay, and then I'm going to call this utility type because we can group this by utility type. And then we're going to say, uh, I want to know, is this original contract work? So that's a yes or no. And if it is original contract work, I want to know, was the field data obta obtained or do we got to we got to go back out to the field? Okay, then I want to know. Can this be done in-house? So some of this work may have to go to a subconsultant or a subcontractor. So that's these three are yes and no's. Okay. So let's make those, we'll italicize those because they're yes or no's. <clears throat> okay. And I'm not quite ready to plug in a cost here. We're just going to start with this. So Let's, let's put a description. Okay, so we want to know for each of the things they asked us for, we want to know what's the task, what's the type of utility, is it contract work? If it was contract work, do I already have the field data or do I got to go back out? Is it something that we can do in-house? And uh, what is it? What's a good description of what they're asking us to do? So I'm going to rename this tab. We're going to call this utility mapping tasks and we'll just save this spreadsheet. And this, you know, this spreadsheet might be different. In fact, it almost certainly will be different depending on what you're being asked to do. Um, you might not do this in a spreadsheet. Uh, you know, a lot of times if I wasn't doing this in a video, I'd be doing it on a whiteboard. I almost did it in some diagramming software. You could do it in Trello too. I just decided to do it, do a spreadsheet. So. All right, so what are we, we're going to call this the same thing. I'll use today's date. First day of 2020. Okay. So we're going to set that up. And then I'm going to end, go ahead and end this video because I'm over 10 minutes. And what we're going to do is we'll, we'll come back in and we'll start filling this out uh, based on the, uh, the information in that PDF. And again... You know, here's the four questions we're trying to answer so we can add value to our client. And right now we're working on this number two. What specific task did they ask us to execute? Okay. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will hopefully be talking to you in the next video in this set.